the big cost in 3D printing is an opportunity cost of not doing it yourself. So um, we have a number of 3D printers and we've paid for them within months. Hi, I am Dr. August de Oliveira. I'm a general dentist here in Encino, California. I've been practicing for 23 years and I've been 3D printing for three years. I started 3D printing uh, because I was doing a lot of guided implant surgery and quickly found out that there's so much more in my practice I could do, such as implant analog models, making my own aligners, um, doing diagnostic wax ups and dentures. For the longest time, we were taught that going model free was the way to go but we would get restorations back from the lab. We weren't able to check the contacts or see how the crown fit in the arch. So being able to evaluate those things on an actual printed model is huge. You can get a model a number of ways. Within the Rayware software, if you simply want a model, let's say to make a retainer, um, it's just a click of a button. If you want dyes or implant analog models, there's two ways. You can buy a software like ExoCAD and make it that way, or you can send out to thousands of designers all around the world for probably about $10 to $15 per model. As far as the costs to adapting 3D printing to your dental office, the biggest cost out there is resin. And SprintRay has its own line of FDA approved resins, which are very reasonably cost. The Sprint Ray Pro, I can easily print up to six models flat and a lot more if I go vertical. Also, there's tons and tons of resins to choose from within the Sprint Ray software, whereas other companies um, have very limited. Printers in general are not designed for dentists. So dentists buying 3D printers have had to adapt them to our workflow. Sprint Ray is a completely dental company. So training your staff or using it yourself is very, very easy.